once again fam i'm back with another cooking on a budget video let me show you how easy it is to take these boxed potatoes up 50,000 notches let's go what up my youtube family and welcome back to another video so y'all on the menu today we are doing another hood gourmet easy peasy is one two three side dish okay hood, gour hood gourmet cooking on a budget i love doing these little segments so y'all what we are going to do today is three cheese potatoes nothing fancy got this from the local grocery store three cheese potatoes right here and what we are gonna do is jazz these bad boys up we about to take some plain potatoes i don't know if these now nah, these not the scallop version this is just like the three cheese potatoes with that little corny little um cheese mix that come in the inside listen let's pump these joints up so you want to start with a few boxes of so affordable y'all so affordable i think these boxes was oh man like in between like a dollar it was like a dollar 29 or a dollar 69 so affordable you guys okay let's spruce it up okay so you start with your little potatoes here so these are what i'm taking it dehydrated 100% 100% russet potatoes and what they are I'm taking it is just dehydrated um, this is why I love these because when you cook them when you bite into it it does you can definitely tell that it is a real potato so let's open up another box I'm doing two boxes y'all hope everybody is doing great thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video I appreciate you guys so much if you are not subscribed please subscribe please subscribe let me make sure you guys got a good some good light make sure you guys can see it really good okay you guys so we have our potatoes let me just I'm just trying to get the light together you guys because I want y'all to I want y'all to see this transformation okay we gonna do that how's that you guys good all right so we got our potatoes here okay now what are we gonna do next we have this is how i like to do these y'all this is two cups and this is basically hold on y'all because i told y'all some of this don't be planned y'all just coming along with the ride raw and uncut baby we got some regular whole milk and we got some half and half okay so I mixed it so the recipe on the back of the box calls for like two cups of water and like two-third cups of milk so we're using all milk that's major key no water in this joint all milk so I'm gonna start with two cups right here and what I'm gonna do is add my seasonings to my milk and then we're gonna pour it over so we are starting with some chop chives and listen y'all they come out so good so listen okay chop chives all right we got some granulated garlic season to taste season to taste season to taste y'all i cannot stress that enough listen when i'm showing y'all this you don't have to do it exactly the way that I am doing it. What I'm giving you is basically a blueprint. You take this blueprint and you do with you take this blueprint and do whatever you want with it. Make it into your own. This is how I spruce up my little box potatoes. This is how I do it. This is the flavors that I like. You don't have to do this exactly, okay? Love you. Thanks. So, we're also going to do 
little bit of ranch seasoning. Okay. And y'all know I eyeball everything, so don't trip. Let me get some pepper, y'all. Forgot my pepper. Forgot my pepper. And let's just add a little bit of pepper. Hope y'all can see me adding stuff in here. And my milk. Little bit of pepper. Just like that. We are going to take our little powdered cheese. Okay. Add that right in there. Let me get that a little stir. Be careful. Because you don't want to have spill all your stuff on the table. You want to get it in your potatoes. So let me just stir this down real quick before I add the other pack. Y'all, I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all, man. You do not have... I mean, now listen. Like I said, this is just a nice, easy, cook it on a budget, little hood gourmet joint. You could definitely chop you up some fresh potatoes. And if you want to follow this recipe, go right ahead. Um, here go my other joint. I like quick, I like quick and delicious stuff, y'all. Now I will go the extra mile. I have gone the extra mile. I do know how to go the extra mile. But sometimes, y'all know what I be saying. You ain't got time. You ain't got no time. You ain't got no time at all. So let's get this. It doesn't have to be all perfectly incorporated either, you guys. It really doesn't. Okay. So now, I'm just going to take this mixture and I'm going to pour it on to my potatoes. Get that out the way. Now, definitely, clearly, not enough milk. I'm going to show you all how I do mine. I don't even go by those measurements on the back of the box. I go by eye. So I'm just getting that incorporated a little bit more, y'all. Just a little bit more. Okay. A little bit more. Just like this. It smells so good. It's like with the seasonings that they had, with that ranch, with that extra garlic, with that pepper. Oh, my goodness. All right, so now what we want to do is go in with some more milk. Not using any more half and half. We're going to use some regular milk. And I like to fill it up just until it gets almost over the potatoes. Just like this, y'all. Okay. Give it another little stir. Another little stir. Looking good so far. Hope you guys can see it. it. Just look like my lighting is so horrible. I hope y'all can see it though. Okay, y'all. So, this is how much liquid I like in mine. This is two boxes. See how it's like just barely covering it? I love I like it just like that. So now we want to go in with push this back a little bit. I have some Velveeta here, the black Velveeta best cheese ever I am going to just nothing fancy nothing fancy I'm about to take this and I'm tossing it I'm tossing it right in my potatoes nothing nothing major here going on nothing major going on just some good potatoes underway now what you can also do is which and it's so bomb too like that too if you want to um, like slice you up a little bit of onion and like just give it a quick saute and um you can saute, add the onion in here also it is bomb like that y'all with the onion okay so boom that's all that's all the Velveeta we need okay or all the Velveeta I want remember you can do as you may with this idea do as you may do as you must do what you want okay let's bring our potatoes back here we are also going in with 
some shredded cheese and this is the three cheese Mexican blend boom boom bow okay give it a nice little stir my oven is preheated to 350 and these are probably gonna cook for for about 45 minutes to an hour you just want to peek at it everybody's oven is different so check on your potatoes you know but I would say at least 45 minutes to an hour but I am going to check mines in a half of an hour just to take a peek at it and when it's done all of this is going to be nice and crusty the edges that cheese is going to be all ooey gooey so let's see so that's looking good so now we want to add in some butter and I am using my favorite butter um, which is that plant-based um, country crock butter because it's so delicious and you know it's like half the um is it half the fat let me see hold on y'all because this is really some bond butter hold on this country crock this country crock um plant butter like you could literally do every, you could bake with it you could do everything with this it's made with olive oil it is like not not the healthiest, but definitely a healthier uh, version of butter. If y'all can see right there, zero cholesterol, less fat. So, I mean, it's, I like it, but you can use any butter that you want to use, okay? You don't have to use this kind of butter. So, let's give that a little stir. Add a little stir. Okay. Now I don't even have because I have made these quite a few times. I don't really even have to taste this to know that my seasoning is to my liking. You know what I'm saying? But feel free to give yours a taste. Um, I love it. Um, so listen what we are about to do now y'all this is done it's not done done y'all but i'm about to put some foil over this right like i said oven for 350 we gonna cook this for about 45 minutes to an hour because i like mine's kind of crispy at the top i'll show y'all exactly what i mean um when we take it out the oven but yeah let's cover this bad boy with some foil and let's pop it in the oven be back y'all all right my beautiful youtube fam so this is my potatoes after about an hour in the oven on 350 now what i'm about to do they're completely done so now what we're about to do is pop these bad boys under the broiler to get that nice um bubbly crust at the top and we're gonna pop them under the broiler until it's nice and ooey gooey ooey gooey golden brown okay so when you pop them under the broiler you better watch them because it's not going to take long for these bad boys to brown at the top, okay? So, stay tuned. I'll show you guys the finished result. You two family, here is the finished result fresh out of the broiler. You guys, I'm telling you, don't knock it till you try it. If you're looking for a nice, affordable delicious side dish this is exactly what you want to go to look at that cheese up in there and once it cools down it's gonna solidify it's just go it's cheesy it's it's good y'all listen cooking on a budgie cooking on a budgie as always I appreciate you guys so much for tuning in love you guys so much i appreciate the support so much as always you guys stay safe and you stay blessed 
and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.